Hello and welcome to another CTrader video tutorial. Um, this is from clickalgo.com and today I'm going to discuss a new um, beta release that's just come out on CTrader. So it's version four of the desktop and it's just come out in January 2021. And um, there's a few features that have been added that are very useful. So what I'm going to do is go through each one individually and just explain them to you. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole platform because we've got other videos to explain that. I'm only going to go through the key new features that have been added to this uh, beta release. So here we go. This is what it looks like when you first start it up. The chart might look a little bit different, the theme, because I've just changed it to a bit of a better background. Um, what I'm going to do is get rid of this, press the X here and get rid of this um, open live account up there to you know, give you a bit more screen. So the first thing you'll see is the chart toolbar has actually been moved to the top. It's actually fixed at the top now. Um, if I bring across one from a previous um, version 3.8, you see it used to be down on the left-hand side here, okay? And you didn't have extra features that I'm gonna go through now that you've got there. So if I take this away, so this toolbar at the top now, <clears throat> I'll go through each one. So here you can actually uh, select your workspace. You can choose if you want the trade watch bottom and the active symbol panel on the right. Turn them off for now. Um, you can also um, choose what type of chart mode you've got. That's pretty much the same as before. You can also choose your symbol, which was the same as before. Um, you've also got the um, zoom in and zoom in out. I think it does feel to me a little bit smoother. Um, you've got the charts, um, different types of charts. Now this is where it comes into useful um, because what you have on here for the charts is some hotkeys. <clears throat> now these hotkeys are configurable. You can go into the settings and change them. But if I click on the chart and I click on the Alt 1, you'll see that they change. Alt 2, Alt 3 and Alt 4. I can change them just by clicking the Alt key instead of having to go to the chart to do it. So they've added this to a few features here. Um, the little F icon again is just find um, indicators and the little robot icon is to find CBOTs. Then you've got your drawings toolbar. So if you've got a lot of drawings on the chart, so what I'm going to do is just go to um, a template. I'm going to try and try and find something on here. So here, make sure you click on the actual um, template itself. Let's see if I can find one with a few things. So there you go. There's one with a lot of drawing toolbars. So if I go to the toolbars at the top again, and I can find all the indicators, I can just do Control I. So it's a lot easier now to remove your indicators. I can go Control Control I. I can see the indicators that are on here. I can press the little settings icon and make the changes, or I can just delete them by clicking on the delete icon and delete all the drawing icons that way. So it is very useful now to access um, your objects on the chart and to remove them fast with um, hotkeys, okay? So I'm gonna go back here and go to the themes again. I'm just gonna go straight to the black. Now, the next thing you've got there is, uh, or you can hide all drawings as well just by clicking on there. Okay, so the next thing you've got is uh, obviously your templates, which is standard. Now you've got your time frames here going across there. Now the time frames, if I go to one minute, you see that it's got use the up arrow and arrow down to switch periods. So that's one minute. I'm going to use the up arrow and down arrow now, and I can actually switch through the time frames. So hourly, four hourly, daily, weekly, and monthly. So I can quickly switch the time frames now, which I think that was requested by a lot of traders and C Trader did listen to you and looks like they've added it. And that's very useful for switching charts fast. So these hotkeys are very useful and will help your trading. Now, if you want to configure them yourself to have something that um, suits you, you can click on the settings button at the bottom left of the screen here. That brings up the settings window. Now in here, you've got your hotkeys. Now these are all your hotkeys that you can change to anything you want uh, for the charts. These are all the chart ones and different types of showing grids. And then you've also got your mouse keys, uh, mouse hotkeys as well, and code editor. There you go. So you've got all your hotkeys you want to use. So that's the feature for the top bar there. Um, the other thing that they've added, I'll go through now, is, um, here we go. Is, yeah, that's a good, interesting feature. It's a smart chart search. Now, you might not be aware of this. If you just click on any chart, you can click on the space bar, and it comes up with a search box you can see up here search everything. So I can put EUR and it will come up with all the EUR, GBP or anything you want to use and it will go to the chart there. So that's a very quick useful to actually find um, templates or CBOTs or indicators. I think it, I'm going to try it now to see if I can find a, a CBOT. So it says search anything. So I'm going to put in one of our CBOTs, risk. There you go. That's pretty cool. Um, I can just go risk manager and you can actually put the bot. So that's very good, actually. I wasn't aware of that just a minute ago. So if you wanted to find um, literally a indicator or a CBOT or a symbol that's on the system, you can just press the space bar now and you can actually just type it in. Um, I'm going to put in um, harmonic 
And there you go, you've got all the harmonic indicators to go on. That's actually very useful. So there you go, that's that bit of uh, feature. There is another one, which is um, to copy and paste chart drawings. Now I did test this, I think they might have a slight problem, so I'm not gonna go fully into explaining it. But if you were to draw a chart object on the screen like this, and then control C it, if you were to open up a new chart, um, and then control V it, that chart should paste on the, uh, sorry, that object that you just copied, the drawing object, should paste straight onto that chart, okay? Um, the other feature they've got is FX Street News. So I'm going to show you that by just going to the um, Trade Watch panel right, which is Control E. So I'm going to go with the shortcut key now, Control E. Now on here, you've got your news. Now this is all the news coming from, um, where is it coming from? FX Street News. So if you're not familiar with FX Street News, I'll just drag this across. This is FX Street News. Now they've, they've obviously plugged into this and got all the major news releases and news events that they can actually show now on your trading platform. So while you're trading, you can look at the news that's coming up, the fundamental news. And that's also an extremely good uh, feature for CTrader Desktop, in my opinion. That's very useful. You can also just filter it by crypto news only. Um, another feature they've added is Auto Chartist now. So that's as standard. You've got Auto Chartist, which actually does the analysis for coming up with um, chart patterns. And these chart patterns give you some idea of the direction of the trade. So here you've got the type of pattern at the top here, um, a resistance pattern, significance, of when it was identified and what length of the candles. So if you're not familiar with chart patterns, you can look these up. So you've got the triangle um, and various others. So Chartist, Auto Chartist, sorry. Um, you can go to their website, autochartist.com, and you can actually find out a little bit more about them and uh, what they do. But I mean, I wouldn't put 100% into each of these um, signals, but I would actually use them as an indicator. So, you know, as a part of your overall decision of what you're going to do. So it is very useful. So you've got all patterns there and you can choose Fibonacci patterns and only choose the Fibonacci patterns, the ABCD. Um, you can choose uh, key levels. So what key levels there are. So there is some extremely good um, help here and information to help your trading now. So just the news and the auto chartist, in my opinion, has definitely improved the platform, made it far, far better. Um, let's go through and find out what other features I've got added now. So yeah, there's another feature they've added, which is pretty useful. And that will help traders get familiar with actually trading a live account. Because when you're trading a demo account, which I'm doing here, uh, we don't really get into um, withdrawing money and depositing money. And this is what you'd be doing in a live account. So you just pretty much put loads of money in and it's kind of a false sense of security. So if I was trading, I would definitely put in um, a value that you would actually trade with in the first place, say a thousand euros or pounds or whatever. And then you, down here at the bottom of the screen, you can do withdrawals and deposits. So say I wanted to withdraw 500, I can click 500 here and any comment, um, savings, profits, I should have put profits really, shouldn't I? And request withdrawal. Okay, and that's withdrawal done. And there's only 500 left. And if I wanted to deposit money, and it's the same. So say your your balance gets a little bit low, <coughs> you can actually click on the button there, and you can actually put the 500 back in, and it goes back in at the top. So that's a feature they've put in there to actually simulate um, real trading to give you some idea. <coughs> Sorry about that. And they've also got active chart settings. Now I have to go back into settings now. Now in settings, I can go to, I've got to try and find out where it is in general. So down here, you've got active chart. You can change the symbol from the market watch uh, window. You can change the symbol from the trade watch window and you can sync the symbol from the active symbol panel. You can select whether this is activated or not just by clicking on these buttons here. Okay, so that's that. And um, one other thing they've got is this panel on the left here. So in the original version, sorry, 3.8, if I drag that across now, so on 3.8, there's one other thing that um, you'll probably notice that you don't have. The toolbar on 3.8, you could go left or bottom or right. On this current version, um, you can only go left and right. You can't go bottom. That's only one thing I've noticed there. So if I drag this across now, so this panel on here, the watch lists, uh, the trade window, you can see all the um, open symbols and all their values. The market's closed at the moment. That's why you can't see any trading. You have to right click and oh, you can't do it on here. I thought you could, I wanted to, oh yeah, it's double click or single click to close. So I wanna close, I have to click once, click it again, it'll expand, okay? Um, so what they've done across here on version four is that you can, the click doesn't work anymore. If you does, it opens that window. So the single click won't work anymore. If you're familiar with doing that, it won't work. You've got to right click and click expand, right click, expand, right click, expand. And if you wanna close everything, you've got this button just here, collapse all. 
and that'll collapse them all, okay? Um, I'm just trying to find out. I think that's all the new features that they put for this release. One other thing they did do, um, if I co come across and show you, is um, they've increased the API. So if you're not interested in the API, then uh, um, you don't have to look at this, but this will actually show you the new uh, API features that have been added to the trading platform for people that want to automate their systems. Um, this is the CTrader form that they've added it. And what I'm going to do in the next video is actually do a, because I'm actually going to start a new algorithmic trading school, a more modern one, um, showing you how to create your own CBOTs and indicators. And uh, the next video I'm going to do now is just show you these new events that have come in. And that's to capture key down events. So any key press events that are happening on the chart, you can capture it and you can actually do something with it. Um, and you can do hot keys as well. OK, and also they've got selected drawings and other cut type of events um, that you can copy on there. <clears throat> OK, so that's the video. It's just a quick video showing you the new features on CTrader version 4 beta. Um, again, it is beta. So if you do find bugs, please report it to Spotware, not us. Um, and once it goes through beta and it's actually all the bugs have ironed out, they'll release it to all the brokers slowly over a period of time. But don't expect it um, in the near future. It should be. I don't know how, what the time frame is, normally a month or so. Um, OK, and if you don't know who we are, we're clickalgo.com. If I drag our thing here, this is our website. Now, on our website, we've got um, a lot of educational stuff. So if I go to CTrader and platform tutorials, you've got all the platform tutorials of how to use CTrader. So if you're not familiar with CTrader and you've just begun starting using it, come to this page, have a look at all the videos here, and you can actually um, learn how to use CTrader with our video tutorials. I know CTrader's got their own uh, tutorials but um, on a help, you know, on an online user guide, but this should be a little bit more in depth to help you. We've also got a algorithmic trading school, and this is the old one, but we're going to replace soon. So if you're thinking of doing automated trading systems, this has got all the information again and video tutorials to help you get started and learn programming using Microsoft C Sharp and uh, C Trader platform, okay? And the last thing I want to show you is our YouTube channel. So you'll, if you're watching this video, you're going to be on YouTube. Um, all I ask is if you subscribe to our channel um, when we release new videos, especially if it's uh, C Trader related educational stuff, you'll get informed straight away. And if you scroll down here, there's various videos on our products. We've also got C Trader platform tutorials. And in, this is, you can go directly to here as well and actually find it here. You can find our YouTube channel easily enough. Um, I'll put well, you'll be looking at it anyway when you actually look on the YouTube, but on our website, you've got you've got various links. OK, that's it. Thank you very much. If you do like the video, please give me a thumbs up because it really helps and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.